Today's video is going to be about the Chrysler 3.6 oil cooler replacement. Uh, little tips and tricks for the removal and the install of the oil cooler. Um, oil filter assembly, oil filter adapter, some other terms used for it. This is it right here. It's a pretty common problem for these to leak. So 2014 through 21 needs to get the red O-ring, which you'll have to change out yourself. Of course, right here, um, you'll see I'm working on a Jeep, uh, 2014 Jeep to be exact, but um, all these 3.6 engines are the same uh, for the most part, especially the oil cooler is the same on them regardless, so hope the video helps all right so so far we've taken these hoses off now you want to get everything off the intake there's two bolts right there bracket here but it's not on this car uh, I took this pipe off which had the one plug on it um, well this plug this plug obviously so you just want to get everything loose from the intake so you can get the intake off because we got to get to the oil cooler down there bracket just pull all of your intake bolts up so they're out of the way when you go to pull it out they're not catching on the bottom plenum or anything else when you're trying to pull it out so there's actually one bolt back here you don't want to miss that one and the others are pretty obvious and you can see them all fuel line off there may be a lock on yours like I said somebody has worked on this thing already but you're gonna push in on this which makes the clip expand and then you'll be able to pull it off this and then to put it back on you just slide it back on and you'll hear it click or feel it click so push in on that really hard and it'll pop off as well as the fuel line and these have a red lock on them uh, and it goes in about that much it would be flush with the black there but all it does is slide outward let's see that <laughs> so those are locks and once you plug it back in you can slide that lock back down in place of course, I'm going to clean this up some before we put it back together. Uh, if you notice, I took all the bolts out completely. It makes it a lot easier, except for two of them I couldn't get out, so I struggled a little bit with that. But I would take all of your bolts completely out and make it easier. And if they don't come out, at least pull them up all the way as far as you can. Right 
Also wanted to uh, say, make sure you're extra careful uh, with having the intake ports open like that. The last thing you want to do is drop something like a 10 millimeter socket down in there or a 10 millimeter bolt down in there and not know it. Uh, so even if you're unsure, at least look down in there with a light and make sure there's nothing in there that doesn't need to be in there because that will definitely cause internal engine damage. So this is a um, E8 inverted Torx uh, that you would need to get the oil cooler off. down in there so we're gonna clean that out real quick with some rags new again all right uh, as you can see right here there's a coolant hose and a couple plugs back there which the new oil cooler typically doesn't come with those sensors so you gotta swap them over just like swapping any sensor over you're gonna want to use a Teflon tape or some kind of sealer on that sensor to make sure that uh, it is sealed up correctly So I've actually already got the uh, sensors swapped over here, um, ready to go back together. All right, I'm gonna uh, run these down by hand. <clears throat> Just one, excuse me, sorry. Wanted to remind you guys to do that, to run it down by hand with a ratchet or a, uh, something like that. And then whenever you're actually going to tighten it down, just make sure it's going down evenly is what's most important. Not necessarily in a sequence. Uh, it doesn't need to be crazy tight either. So just evenly. Evenly run them down and then evenly tighten. Evenly run them down and evenly tighten them down. So what's important here is making sure that you got the seal on right in the right spot. I put it in the groove first usually. Press it down evenly and then when it goes on it needs to go on evenly. If not, you will have issues. Check engine light, vacuum leak, etc, etc. and an E8.
course I didn't state the obvious you would need to drain your oil and coolant before doing this job and also refill oil and coolant as well after the repair alrighty that's it for the uh, 3.6 liter oil cooler replacement or oil filter adapter replacement hope this video helped uh, it's a super easy job. You can do it yourself. Good luck. Thanks for watching.